Mr. Edward Chia. Question 11, madam. Madam Deputy Speaker, the energy efficiency grant supports and encourages local SMEs in the food services, food manufacturing and the retail sector to invest in energy efficient equipment in six categories, namely LED lighting, air conditions, cooking hops, refrigerators, water heaters and clothes dryers. Now, we have focused on these six categories of equipment because they tend to be energy intensive and are used for long hours. The type of equipment supported under each category are selected based on technologies that have been identified as energy efficient or have high energy efficiency rating under the NEA's mandatory energy labelling scheme. I want to assure the member that in the coming months, Enterprise Singapore will be working very closely with industry, seeking the industry feedback on the EEG which is the Energy Efficiency Grant as part of our ongoing engagements with industry association, trade associations and chambers. We certainly encourage companies to adopt a total solution approach towards energy efficiency as suggested by him. NEA's Energy Efficiency Fund, EEF, provides support for companies in the manufacturing sector, including the integration of resource efficient designs into new facilities and the installation of energy management information systems. In addition, SMEs can also tap on the affordable energy assessments that's offered by the Energy Efficiency Technology Centre, EETC, which is a collaboration between the NEA and the SIT, Singapore Institute of Technology, to help them make informed decisions on the kind of measures to take to improve their energy efficiency. We welcome suggestions on how we can further help our SMEs become more energy efficient. Together, we can make Singapore economy more sustainable. Mr. Edward Chia. Thank you, Madam. I would like to ask uh, MOS if MTI is also looking at spurring adoption of energy efficient measures upstream at a more system level besides focusing on equipment. And in, that, in addition, food services businesses use a wide range of equipment and some of them could be very energy intensive. Will MTI consider widening the range of e equipment considered and this, as this could be helpful to many businesses and reduce potential equipment wastage? Thank you. I want to thank the member, Mr. Edward Shah, for his two supplementary questions. And I want to assure him that MTI and ESG were very committed to work with uh, the other ministries and agencies to support our SMEs to make the green transformation at the system level for those who are prepared. But we also recognise that there are some SMEs who need to take the phase first baby steps. And uh, this is why we have the Energy Efficiency Grant. And the Energy Efficiency Grant is one of the latest uh, scheme, amongst a suite of many other measures between MTI, MSE, NEA, etc., we have in place to support our businesses to become more energy efficient. I want to assure him that we are committed to help our SME in their sustainability journey. And that's why over the past few years in particular, we have rolled out many schemes and measures that support our SMEs to make the green transformation at system level, be it acquiring expertise, skills, technology or even capability. So, for example, for SMEs that are building owners, they will be able to apply for the BCA's Green Mark Incentive Scheme for existing buildings 2.0 because this provides building owners, including SMEs, with co-funding support of up to 50% and to help them to retrofit, to help them to raise the energy performance of their building. So we have that for SMEs that are prepared to go upstream, to really embark on their sustainability journey at the system level. And um, other than that, for our industrial SMEs, if they are keen to also go upstream and make a system level uh, green transformation and they don't quite know what to do, they can approach EETC, Energy Efficiency Trans 
Technology Centre. This is a collaboration between NEA and our, one of our AU, Singapore Institute of Technology, SIT. So what can they do for the SMEs? They will help them provide uh, energy audits because you need to start with knowing how much energy you're consuming, the whole of the organisation, your production lines, etc. They will also help the SMEs build up their local energy efficiency capabilities. And if the SME has uh, RSE, that means research, scientist, engineer, they can also work in tandem with them to upskill their engineers and practitioners in energy efficiency. Now, on the member's second question about uh, why the six, can we go beyond the six um, categories, allow me to take a step back and, and share why the three sectors and then why these six categories. Now, in MTI and ESG, we have been working very closely with our industries, with our SMEs across all sectors. And we know that um, in the last nine months, it has not been difficult. Uh, it has been difficult. In particular, our SMEs in the food services, food manufacturing and the retail sectors, we know that they tend to have a larger electricity component in their overall business costs. So we want to help them to see how to manage that and become more competitive, bring the business costs down. And this is why we are going to roll out the energy efficiency grant. The SMEs in these three sectors can apply for the EEG starting 1st of September 2022 to 31st March 2023. Now this grant will allow the SMEs in these three sectors to obtain a support of up to 70% to adopt energy efficiency equipment in pre-approved categories that I've mentioned. Now why pre-approved? Because we work very closely with NEA's licensing department to pre-approve this equipment so that the SME applicants will be able to adopt this energy efficient, efficient appliances, equipment readily, very quickly and easily as well. Now, the, let me share with you how we work with NEA to qualify the equipment. Now, essentially, these six categories are identified based on two key considerations. Number one, what would be the energy efficient technologies that's behind, whether the cooker hob, refrigerators, etc. And the other one, it will be based on the high efficiency rating by NEA's mandatory energy labelling scheme. Now, I want to assure the member that uh, for any SME clients that have other equipment, we can invite them to those who have other equipment they would like to apply. The applicants may suggest other kinds of equipment or even technology within these six supportable categories and uh, that has higher or sim similar level of energy efficiency. Now, we would like to invite them to make the submission uh, to apply for the review and we certainly will evaluate accordingly. Now rest assured that MTI, ESG, in fact together with EMA as well as our colleagues in NEA and MSE, we are very committed to support our SMEs across various sectors to embark on their sustainability journey, be it at the system level or be it taking the first few steps by adopting energy efficient equipment.